On today's menu is a potato recipe that is stuffed with green goodness. Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bumbi. And today we will be making stuffed aloo tikki. I have boiled and mashed four potatoes. Please remember that the potatoes need to cool down completely before forming the cakes. I added two heaped tablespoons of cornstarch, two teaspoons of bhaja mashla. I have a recipe for bhaja masala on my channel, so please check that out. You can also use chaat masala or you can use any seasonings of your choice. I also added about a little less than a teaspoon of salt and a freshly cracked black pepper. Then mash the potatoes very well just like kneading a dough breaking any lumps. Please remember that you need to cool down the potatoes completely before proceeding with the recipe because the cakes may break if the mixture is hot. You can also boil the potatoes the night before and keep it in the refrigerator. Next coming to the stuffing. I have used frozen green peas. I blanched the peas just for a minute and then drained them under cold tap water. Please drain all the water till the last drop. If using fresh green peas, boil the peas till they become soft. I added about half a teaspoon of salt and then mashed the peas. Remember my friends, mash them roughly. You do not want to make a paste. Just give a brief mash so that when you bite onto the tikki, you can still make out the texture of the green peas. And you can even leave some of the peas whole. We are looking for this kind of a situation. Next comes a few drops of lemon juice. One green chili finely chopped which is totally optional and a teaspoon of bhaja masala. Again, you can leave out bhaja masala entirely and keep everything simple. But bhaja masala does bring in a nice flavor. You can also use any other seasonings of your choice. Mix and your stuffing is all ready. Coming to shaping the tikki, I like to oil my palms before shaping them. Take a good portion of the potato mix form a little depression add about a heaped teaspoon of the green peas filling please do not go too overboard with the filling but at the same time if a little bit of filling comes out while forming the cakes that's perfectly okay Now after forming the cakes, dust them lightly with some cornstarch. This will make the exterior crispy. Please remember to dust off the excess. I forgot that and regret it later. Okay, frying time. I added 2 tablespoons of oil and about 2 tablespoons of butter. You can use only oil. It will still be delicious. Remember my friends, you need to shallow fry these. Once the oil turns hot, place the cakes in a single layer and fry them on medium heat. Check with your spatula whether it has turned brown by lifting one end. If it has not browned satisfactorily, give them some more time. Turn them gently when they become golden brown. I didn't do a good job in dusting off that excess cornstarch from the surface. That's why the exterior is looking a bit white. Though that didn't alter the taste at all. But please remember to dust off that excess flour. Flip them gently from time to time till both the sides get well fried. Take them out when both the sides get well browned. They have this light, crispy exterior and once you bite onto it, you will be greeted by that sweetness of the green peas along with the potato melting in your mouth and the bhaja masala, oh, that gives that extra flavor that makes these extra delicious. You can serve these as an appetizer or a snack or carry it in your lunchbox or picnics. You can also put it in hamburger buns with your choice of any sauce. The options are endless. Please help this video to reach out to more people by smashing that like button for me. Bye bye.